Waalaikumsalam Doktor. Okey. Terima kasih. So. Okey. The uh, recording is on. So we can start. So. Can you see the slide? Is slide uh, is visible? Yes, Doctor. Okay, yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so last uh, time we have discussed this first example, right? Which is uh, as uh, the force method in which we are using, uh, or we call this the a redundant force method, right? It is as we discussed uh, last week. Uh, that I think I start, uh, I forget, uh, video. Okay. But maybe I have uh, made some arrangement for writing this uh, writing pad tablet. So as I was telling that, uh, that this example, there are four reactions and as we discussed the force method which is the flexibility method in which we have to uh, apply for a small degree of indeterminate if degree of indeterminacy one or two it is fine so like this is a beam a one span beam so only it is externally indeterminate right so externally, because there are uh, three reaction, right? If we can say we have uh, one reaction, one vertical, and uh, one here, three reaction here, and one reaction here. So the total are four reactions, right? So. So total are four reactions and we have three equations, right? As it is written here, there are three equations. So it is one degree of statically indeterminate. So uh, these four reactions, which are uh, uh, three here as given and one here. So what do we do? we can do force method as one of the reaction we can remove from here, right? So one of the reaction, as we discuss either uh, we can make this, we can remove the reaction B, which is over here, right? And that will become the uh, cantilever beam like this, right? So this will become a determinate beam in which now three reaction M, A, H, A, V, A, and we can uh, also uh, determine this. Or as I said, we can also have another choice if we would like to do, we can make the uh, we can remove the moment reaction and we can make the support as the pin support and this is the roller support, right? So in this case, MA will be the redundant. In this case, the above case, the first one, there will be VB as redundant. So as in this example, we have considered VB as a redundant case, right? I'm trying to make practice on uh, this uh, board. Maybe my writing will be after a few lectures will be good, right? Just yesterday I got it, right? So uh, then as we say, we have converted this. So there will be 
uh, it is the primary beam, which is a determinate beam, and this is a redundant beam. So primary beam, which means we have removed uh, this. I think I want to change the later on. Uh, just uh, bear today only the red color. I will learn how to change the color of pen, right? So this I have removed. So this I have applied VB on this redundant beam, and uh, this is uh, the actual beam or primary beam, which is primary beam is a determinate. So in primary beam, we have draw this the deflected shape, right? So with this load, right? Because we will maintain the applied load over here. So at the other day, I have shown you uh, this load, right? If we will be uh, saying this and we are applying load over here, right? So, and here is fixed support. So it will be curvy over here. And after that, it will be a straight line, right? Because beyond this point, there is no load. So because this is a curve and this is the straight line, right? So uh, we can consider this part like a single cantilever beam because we can use this coefficient. So as uh, this part, right? So we, we are uh, from uh, 2L length, which is we can simulate this. So because it is a curvy part and this is the uh, because it is just as I, I will go, it will go like this, right? So that is the straight part which we can solve by geometry. So uh, under the load P right here, we can find uh, this uh, deflection under so and then and uh, this will be by geometry, right? Because when, so by tangent, as I have uh, told you the other day. So now we have this, uh, I have given you this table here. So for different, right? So in this case, uh, we will consider uh, this, right? If it is length L, load is at the end. So this is the, uh, Theta maximum, which is at this point, and the uh, at the free end, and the maximum delta at the free end, which is P L cube upon three E I, right? So, like uh, uh, as uh, point B, P L cube upon three E I, right? And uh, rotation is P L square upon two E I. This is from this table, right? So as I say, <clears throat> you can consider if in this case, downward deflection, you are taking positive, so upward will be negative or vice versa, right? So in this case, under the load P, because we are, so under the load P, so this problem will become instead of that, right? For that load is, length is 2L, right? Not L, right? L is for the formula, right? So if I will apply this is, and this is the load uh, P over here. From, so we have break, right? So L part, which is uh, this part, it is because no load there, it will be simply, it will go like this, right? So I have applied this, so theta at P, right? So if it is going there, so if it is deflecting like this, so if I can draw this tangent, so this theta, right? This theta, which is theta due to applied load P. So this is the equation PL square upon 2EI. So as the other day, so length of the beam is 2L, right? Uh, the, uh, any anything any issue okay so just uh, for the length of the beam in this formula i put 2l it is 2l rest of the data is the same 
So this is simplification to PL square upon EI, right? Because four, uh, two times two, four, four upon two, two. And uh, under this, right? The, this loading, so now we can say VP, right? The uh, under, so V under this load VP, that will be equal to P because ag again, the same formula uh, L, so the length is 2L, so I put 2L, so that will be 2L cube upon 3 EI. And since this part is going straight, right? This part beyond that is going straight. So this is theta, this is also theta. So from here to here, right? If I can say, so that will be VP plus uh, by trigonometry, right? Which I have given if this is theta, this is L. So this will be this distance from here to here. That will be, which is, if I can say it is A. And this length is L, right? This part from P to N. So A upon L is tangent theta, right? If I can write down here, A upon L is tangent theta, right? But theta is very, very small. So A upon L is theta, right? So which is, uh, we have calculated it is 2 PL square upon EI. So L will go over here. So that will be uh, theta into L and this will be a delta under this, right? Because it will be added, right? So because from here, right? So this is uh, this delta, this is A is here and this is the VP, right? So V total will become VP plus uh, this from this line, right? Because uh, it is going like this. So that we have added and we simplify. So the uh, this total uh, deformation at that point is 14 PL cube upon 3 EI, right? And now uh, this is, this we have, uh, did for the uh, uh, primary beam and now in this secondary beam, right? Uh, so, or a redundant beam. In redundant beam, it is applying over here and this length is 3L, right? And in the previous case, right? Delta was downward, which we have taken positive. So that is upward, we will be taking negative, right? So VB2, delta B2, VB2, because for this redundant beam, so again, the same formula, PL cube upon 3 EI, right? So it is negative because uh, upward delta, so is negative, opposite to that, right? Direction. So VB is unknown, length is 3L. So in L, I put uh, 3L, so 3L cube upon 3EI, right? E and I. So 3 times 3 times 3, uh, 27 upon 3. So 9VBL uh, cube upon EI. So for compatibility upward, uh, this de delta uh, uh, B2 and delta B1, right? For compatibility, right? As I say, for compatibility, right? Because actually there is so upward is equal to downward, right? So which means uh, V or uh, net will be zero. So VB one plus VB2 is equal to zero, which is upward plus downward is zero. So this is uh, upward, right? Uh, this is downward, positive sign, plus this is downward, which is negative sign. And we can simplify. So VB is equal to 14 upon 27P, right? So 
the reaction at uh, B. In this case, we have uh, determined 14 upon 27 P. Right now, after we determine reaction, so now uh, we can uh, determine all other reaction in the same way uh, as you have done in theory of structure. OK, so uh, the uh, the example has only asked this, but if you can uh, you want to calculate, so mm, uh, maybe uh, I can add. Sir, yeah, I just want to ask the previous slide, the done with. Yeah, uh, why this is that? No, no, the, why does we this need one? to? Uh, ah, yes, uh, this. Because, yeah, uh, because the load. I go full because it will be OK. This is the beam, right? This is the load. This is support primary beam. So load is vertically downward applied load, right? So when load will apply, so beam will be deflected like this. Am I right? So beam is deflected, so that's why it is downward deflection, right? Because of the direction, right? Uh, just like uh, this is the beam. If you can look, I'm pressing, so beam is going down. So it is downward deflection. I'm taking positive. Redundant because redundant is applying upward reaction, right? So this I'm applying upward. So in redundant beam, it is upward. Is it clear? OK. Yes. OK. OK, I think I add one blank slide just. So as I was telling uh, that uh, we have uh, calculated. Uh, so it is. Uh, 14 upon 27 P. I don't write very bad on the, to the board, but I think my. So which is VA. HA. And M A. Okay. This length is three L. Load is P. This distance, sorry. Oh, I don't know how to erase only one. It is P. So this is two L. It is L. So now if you want to calculate uh, MA, you can calculate, right? So uh, as summation of M at A is zero, so you can say, right? So again, if we say uh, 14 upon 27 P times 3 L. Right, this distance is 3L and it is upward, so it is anti clockwise moment. So anti clockwise is positive. This is P into 2L, it is clockwise moment negative. P into 2L, right? And uh, this is uh, this applied reaction moment, MA. We consider this direction uh, clockwise minus 
m a right is zero right so we can uh, calculate m a is equal to because this is known this is known you can calculate same thing uh, a, a, this is known this is known summation of uh, v right or f y is equal to zero so again we can say v a is equal to uh, uh, downward if we are taking downward positive p minus 14 upon 27 p am i right so 47 so that is um, 13 upon 27 p right and since no horizontal load so ha is equal to zero so we can calculate all the reaction so only because after that it is it has become the determinant right so rest of the procedure is the same right so only we have to remove the redundant reaction whatever we have considered reaction right so that was the uh, question number one uh, question number two again similarly to that uh, now it is udl right determine the reaction in the actual beam as shown which is above this is actual beam right so uh, reaction use the method of the same all flexibility co coefficients are so ei is constant at the moment we are considering so again a uh, primary beam in the same thing right it is similar to the previous in previous uh, there was the load concentrated load point load at a distance 2l right uh, here it is udl q per meter right so again in the same thing uh, at point b the roller support we consider it is uh, redundant and we remove right in this primary beam so it is determinate right it has become determinate right because we remove uh, this beam uh, this support so it has become redundant so when we remove this because it is stopping this so there would be reaction so this is the uh, reaction by right so as in consistent deformation uh, we can use the unity method as well right in the theory we discussed so uh, uh, in this case we can also discuss we can apply a unit load right so because it is flexibility so by unit load right and theory of structure by doing so we have also calculated the deformation right the same procedure so we are applying so three we break the actual beam into three determinate beam redundant beam and redundant beam with unit load right so first we will find the reaction with unit load then we can multiply it by this or this method of consistent deformation or castigliano that we have discussed right this is we can use uh, this method right so again so there are as i said four unknown in the beam three unknown reaction at the fix at a and one unknown at the uh, prop end which is uh, this uh, roller support so as we have discussed right so mm, we are uh, getting the redundant at the or we are removing the roller support and it is becoming the uh, cantilever beam which is a determinate beam so the compatibility condition as we say that uh, again or i can so 
if uh, we have primary beam, so again, uh, this is like uh, this is primary beam and primary beam. So this is like downward deflection or delta uh, B due to total load P, right? Uh, Q or whatever due to load P. And uh, we have uh, unit load upward because of unit load, it is delta B at point B and uh, BY is the redundant reaction. So total will be because we are using when load is when load is one, right? When load is one, so it is delta BB. When load is BY, so total deformation will be BY into delta BB. And this is upward, this is downward. So again, for compatibility, the net deformation will be zero, right? Because as we are considering, right? Uh, deformation over here and deformation over here. So at this point, this is BY into delta BB, right? And this is delta B or delta B due to applied load. So this and this because in the actual beam net will be zero, right? Because there is support. So that is the compatibility condition that we are applying. So now uh, in order for solving that, the bending moment expression for the primary beam subjected to the external loading is so uh, we can Again, uh, we can write down the. Uh, uh, we can uh, moment equation, right? So uh, if this is the. Oh, I can here. Yeah. This is primary beam. This is Q per length, right? So uh, if uh, the total is L. So this load will be Q into because Q per length, right? So it is Q times L, right? So it's the net distance is this is L by two, right? So this moment M and again, uh, it will be beam sign convention, hogging moment because cantilever, right? If from theory of structure, it is hogging, right? It will be because tension will be at top. So this is the sign of moment, right? Bending moment sign, right? Not the clockwise, anti-clockwise, right? Plus or negative. So since hogging, right? Because uh, it is upward curvature, so it is negative. So the moment, Right, the maximum bending moment at this point, right, will be a Q X square upon two, right, at any distance X if we are taking, right. So uh, Q X uh, if we are taking at any distance uh, instead of L. So if we are taking X, so Q X, uh, right, because if you are taking any distance X from here, right? So the it is uh, Q into X and distance is X by two, right? So the moment will be Q X into X by two. So Q X square by two. So the bending moment in the primary beam subjected by one is at any distance X, right? So this is the force one at any distance X. So the bending moment will be one into X at any distance X, right? So this is the uh, same 
the way moment equation that we can uh, we know in the uh, theory of structure, right? So this is at any distance x, uh, the primary beam, and this is the unit beam. So delta p, right? Delta p will be m, right? So using the integration to obtain, so this is uh, again uh, ch last chapter or deformation chapter. We and here I have also given so in actual beam M, uh, which is the uh, M is the uh, moment of primary beam. It is the moment due to unit load, right? And uh, integration because limit zero to L, right? So the delta uh, BP, which is in the primary beam. This is primary beam. So this is the this delta. This is delta BP, right? So by this, so zero to L M, which is uh, minus QX square upon two due to unit load, a small M is X DX upon EI, right? So again, if we can uh, do, right? So QX, uh, cube upon uh, two. So the integration x cube is x to the power four divided by four. Am I right? So you will open the integration of this will be q x to the power four divided by four and four into two eight. So zero to L. So when you will put zero, zero, when you will put L, so it will be QL upon QL4 upon 8EI, right? QL upon, uh, right? So previous problem we have solved uh, directly by that, this, because we can do solve directly by coefficient, right? Or we can also solve by this consistent deformation method right so with this solution minus it is showing downward because uh, due to this so now uh, with uh, unit load it is upward so by load and by unit load both is m so it will be m square upon ei so m is x so x square upon ei and 0 to l and it is upward, right? By unit load, it is upward deformation, right? So it is positive L cube upon 3 EI, right? So then we can right. So we can uh, in this equation delta. So this plus uh, b y or uh, delta b right so we we can write down uh, the equation right the upward uh, i think i it, yeah Uh, because when I go to, yeah, slide share, it is fine, right? So as we say, upward deflection plus down deflection is zero. So upward, which we have calculated as minus QL4 upon 8 EI, yeah minus q l 4 upon 8 e i plus uh, b y times because it is we have calculated using unit load right for unit load l cube upon 3 e i positive
is zero, right? So now you can simplify this, right? So uh, you can take, right? We can calculate bi. So it will go simply over there, by is equal to, so it will go, uh, it will become positive. QL4 upon 8EI, you are shifting and multiply by 3EI upon LQ, right, which is here. And then simplify. So 3QL upon 8, right? So the redundant reaction will be 3QL upon 8, right? By removing the uh, uh, redundant. So after that, as I ha have told you, when you have calculated, right? When we have calculated this reaction, which is this, so now you can summation of, right? Because in this case, we have calculated uh, this as 3QL upon 8. So we can calculate this like VA, right? So summation of Fy is equal to zero. So that will be, uh, we can say Fy will be equal to Q times L minus three QL upon eight, right? So we can, same thing, we can calculate also the moment reaction by taking, right, by moment at point A and horizontal reaction will be zero, right? So there are two procedures I told you. Either we can take directly this coefficient, right? Or we can also uh, use this method of consistent deformation. Right, both are correct. This is the one which we use uh, uh, in the uh, last chapter or second last chapter in theory of structure. Right, so this is the method of consistent deformation, and by doing so, we have calculated the uh, uh, two reaction. Right, so. The rest of the problem, as I say, is the same, right? So there are, uh, uh, because some other today, I will discuss a few problem and then uh, tomorrow, the second part. Uh, there are many problem I have done, right? So few uh, I will discuss, right? Uh, with beam and this is the book example. Right, so uh, this is like our tutorial session, right? So uh, uh, we can uh, discuss some. So I will, before I will go further, can I give you, uh, because it is tutorial session, as I said, so we I can give you uh, 15 minutes, okay? So relevant to this, Right. Uh, one problem I give you. Same problem. Let's say it is. Ten. Uh, Newton. It is. Four meter, it is four meter, so total eight meter, right? So calculate uh, redundant force VB, right? Take in terms of EI, right? EI is constant. 
right? So I'm giving you 15 minutes. Okay. So uh, just it is similar to that. I have just given the value, right? So uh, either uh, you can take the uh, it is at mid span. You can take the coefficient directly or you can use uh, consistent deformation. Result should be the same. If you are taking coefficient, so which will be? It will be um, for primary beam, right? So this is cantilever and this is mid span. So you can use this, right? Because four meter, four meter, right? L by two, L by two, right? So theta max will be over here. And this theta max or y max at this point directly given, right? So here, because the first problem, it was 2L and L, right? So this formula could not be applied, right? The load was not at the midpoint, but in this case, the load is at the midpoint, right? So you can directly apply the formula and after that you can also try to uh, use consistent deformation and check right whether it is correct right so it is on my side time is uh, 442 right so uh, uh, 457 or let's say until five o'clock i'm giving you the time Right, then I will come. Right. Okay. So, meanwhile, I can pray my Asar. I'm in UTP. Right. So, you can do. So, give me 15 minute break and you can solve. share your screen afterward. Right? So Yusuf or uh, Arif, you can share your screen. One will share, right? I'm coming after the third. You are A grader.
sorry so i hope you have done so uh, just you can uh, check i can simply do so the primary beam is this right and with that uh, let's say i'll say this is delta one right and secondary beam uh, or redundant beam is this which is vb or by whatever right and this is delta two right so delta one directly so as i say we can go from where is this this one so because we don't need theta we need only compatibility so y max is equal to minus 5 pl uh, i just write down somewhere uh, there is pen 5 pl cube upon 48 ei right and uh, the other is this one right with uh, by so that is y max is equal to pl cube upon the ei right so now delta one so which is at the midpoint right so the formula is uh, this formula is pl cube upon 5 pl cube so if i can take downward negative so 5 pl cube upon 48 ei right so it in this right directly formula right so 5 P is 10, 10 Newton, right? L, L is 4 plus 4, 8 meter, right? Because it is at L by 2, right? One thing you see here, it is at L by 2, L by 2. So L is 8 meter. Right, 5 into 10 into 8 cube upon 48 EI. Right, and delta 2, that is because it is at this end, so that is upward positive PL cube upon 3 EI. So P is unknown, right? Upward VB, right? which is unknown, right? L is 8 cube upon 3 EI. Right? For compatibility, delta 1 plus delta 2 is equal to 0. Right with minus sign 5 into 10, 50. Right above 50 into 8 cube upon 48 EI plus. VB into 8 cube upon 3 EI. Am I right? And if I can say VB 
is equal to I will take this positive into 8 cube upon 48 EI into 3 EI divided by 8 cube. So 8 cube, 8 cube will go down. EI, EI will go down. So 40 times 3, 150 upon 48. 150 upon 48. So 3 times something, right? So it will be 3 times 1 something answer, right? So we have calculated the uh, random reaction, right? Uh, uh, the uh, this support reaction is three point something exactly. You can or one fifty upon forty one. Calculator. Three point one two five, right? So, and uh, then VB and all calculations. So, have you calculated the same? Anybody? Newton? Yes, uh, got the same answer. So, my answer is correct. So, I pass. Yes. Okay. okay. So, which means that uh, the first part. Uh, we have uh, clear. So example three, I think uh, more or less similar. I only think uh, I move further. Okay. So I can discuss. Uh, uh, Example three, example four, right? So in example four, uh, if you can see it is uh, again because it is two span beam, five meter, five meter, right? Uh, it is uh, pin support, roller support, roller support. So again, degree of indeterminacy is I can give me. I add few empty slides. Right. So, so if I can uh, go there uh, directly, so. Right. So now uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, right? So this is A, B, C. I think next time I will do more practice on writing. So uh, Reactions are four, equations three, so degree of indeterminacy is one external, in, right? So in this case, uh, we can consider, because you cannot take this, otherwise it will be unstable, right? You take horizontal reaction, so all three roller, it is unstable, it is not. So what? I can say uh, this is our 
primary structure, I can remove middle one, right? So this is like our primary structure, right? So it is 10 meter and 20 kilonewton per meter. And then we have our redundant structure, which is PY, right? So either we can uh, calculate uh, this by the coefficient or uh, we can. So in this, we can first try to find out the uh, PY, which is our uh, this uh, redundant reaction, right? So as uh, or we can do the uh, consistent deformation. So draw the bending moment diagram and the shearing force for the in -deter. I mean, here uh, after reaction calculation, we have to calculate uh, everything, right? So uh, this is uh, five meter, five meter, 20 kilonewton per meter, right? So the primary beam is, as uh, we discussed, it is this, right? So it is 10 meter long and it is simply supported beam, right? So simply supported beam, uh, it is B and just now over there, uh, B or C, whatever, right? So it is, have, it is C in the example. So uh, it is BY, I think, uh, BY or CY, it is, I think the book has written wrong point B, so it should be BY. It doesn't make difference. So uh, this is our redundant, the middle support we have removed. And uh, we have, uh, because method of consistent deformation, so we have applied a unit load over here. Right. So then we draw the moment diagram, right, for the primary beam, which is E, and for the uh, beam uh, with unit load here. Right. So again, uh, it is theory of a structure, single beam, but again, I can just uh, show you. because it is UDL, right? It is 20 kilonewton, so 20 times five. So you will calculate 100 and 100 kilonewton will be the reaction, right? For this primary beam. Right? Now at any distance X, right? So it will be MX will be 100 times X, which is uh, like uh, if, and it will be uh, 20. Uh, if it, I'm taking this uh, clockwise, so if I'm putting negative, so this is anti-clockwise. Right, so 20 into x into x by 2. So 20 x square by 2, this equation, right? And if we say the maximum will be at uh, midpoint, it is, so when x is equal to 5, so x at, right, maximum, right? This will be at x is equal to 5, right? So if in this equation you can write down, so that will be minus 100 into 5 plus 10 into, because uh, 25. Right, so that will be, I think, uh, uh, 250 
and minus uh, 500. So it is 250. So, but under beam sign convention, so it is positive moment. So this is because 500 minus 250 is 250. So it is correct, right? So this is the maximum bending moment with unit load is one. So again, it, it is at this point. So half, half into five, 2.5. So this is the moment diagram for this, right? So uh, it is what the theory of the structure. So the beam is indeterminate. So again, now we can take uh, uh, delta BP plus uh, the compatibility condition, right? So again, right? So at the midpoint, right? UDL at the midpoint. So this is delta B or delta B due to load, right? And if due to unit load, right? At the mid, so this will be delta BB, right? And multiplied by BY. So as you can take directly by coefficient, right? So this primary beam, it is UDL condition. So again, if you will go here, it is this, right? Uh, this is uh, W, right? So this is five, uh, WL4 upon 348 EI, right? And at midpoint unit load, so PL cube upon 48 EI, right? So uh, this is the direct formula we can take because if a standard condition, it is better, we should take the direct formula, right? It will save your time, right? So So as delta BP, as I told you, right? So 5WL4 upon 348, right? So the 5W is given 20, length is 10, right? Length is 10, right? Because simple beam, it is 20 kilonewton per meter, right? And so, as I said, it is subjective. If I've taken downward negative, upward positive because of that, so I keep. keep. So that is 5, 20 is the load, 10 is the span. So, uh, right? So, for 348 EI. And you can simplify, so it is 2604.17 EI. Delta B, so, uh, so it is upward, right? What do I highlight? Yeah. So P is one because it is unit, right? L is 10, right? 48 EI, and we will solve. So it is 20.83 EI. So uh, again, in this compatibility equation, so this will be minus, this will be plus and BY. So we can calculate BY as 125 kilonewton, right? So BY is 125 kilonewton. After uh, we have calculated BY, we can uh, calculate uh, this bending moment 
and shear force at uh, every location, right? So rest of the problem will become the Uh, problem of that. So uh, I can draw here. Okay. So it is one twenty five. It is VA, VB, and let's say VC. It is twenty kilo Newton per meter, right? So uh, to calculate VC, we can say summation of MA is equal to zero, right? So that is, it is five meter, it is five meter, am I right? So that will be again VC into 10 or 10 VC anti-clockwise positive because in algebraic equation, uh, plus 125 into 5, it is also this direction, and uh, and this is negative, right? So 20 into 10 into 10, into 5, sorry. Right, 20 kilonewton per meter into 5. Result, so this 5 will be here. Right, so this will be 20 into 5. So this distance is 5 meter, right? So 100 into 5, right? So, and it is clockwise, so negative. So, it is equal to zero, right? So this will become, VC will become uh, 500, if it will go, and this will become, Uh, 6.25. Am I right? So we see into 10 and 20 into 5, 100. So 100 into 5. 125, so 125 into, so uh, that is, uh, so 125 VC is equal to minus 125. Oh, it is not zero. I don't know how to, Otherwise I press all will erase, right? This one thing I will learn. So it is 12.5 negative, right? So which means uh, VC will be 1.12.5. Uh, Maybe uh, anybody check? Uh, anyone check? It should be 37.5. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why there's 20 times 5 instead of 10? Uh, 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, I made a mistake. Sorry, sorry. Correct. You are correct. That's why I was thinking why it is. Yeah. Uh, my mistake. Yeah. So 200 times 5, 1000 minus 625. So 375 upon 10, which is 37.5. Oh, correct. Right? The answer is thank you very much. So it means all of you are attentive. Good. Right. So 37. So because symmetry, the VA is also 37.5. So this will become the shear force diagram. And in the same way, uh, we can also uh, determine the bending moment diagram. Right. So I think uh, today uh, this much OK. So uh, one more question tomorrow I will discuss and then tomorrow we can uh, discuss the frame, right? Because come frame is state of a little bit. We will discuss the theory is the same. So afterwards we will discuss the uh, uh, one or two problem of the frame. And then uh, next Thursday uh, we can wrap up. We can discuss the uh, trusses. So because this is basically two, it is lengthy chapter. So basically on the uh, syllabus two chapters. So we have uh, we will complete two chapters next week. So about 530 is there. So is this OK? Any problem? And I think I believe you are still uh, uh, good in theory of structure and thank you very much. Yes, this is the uh, uh, doing uh, working over there. So lecturer can also make mistake, right? So it is very nice and uh, I think and now my writing is also becoming little better. Tomorrow it will be more better, I hope. So this is OK. Yes, sir, it's okay. So we can, okay. So we can stop today because today I have pause. I have to go home, right? So with that, thank you. Right. So we will continue, inshallah, tomorrow. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.